Yo, what's going on guys? This video you're watching right now is actually a highlight from my Lil Nas X Panini tutorial, which was over an hour long. I figured I'd cut out some important parts of that tutorial and uh, throw it out there as its own standalone video in case people are out there searching for specific things. I'm still experimenting with the structure on how I want to make these videos. Everyone learns differently, so if you like how I did that with the full long version and then these highlights, let me know in the comments. Other than that, if you want to see the full context, talking about the holograms, all the 3D stuff, and more, go ahead and click the link below. If not, not if you're looking just for what the title of this video is go ahead and enjoy the video hope you guys have a good one and i'll talk to you guys later i'm trying to get this to look however you'd like i'm gonna scale this down because it's pretty big for now and that's looking pretty good say you want to make this 2d image look a little bit more 3d there is a way we can do that so let's pop into our hologram comp here and what we're going to do is i'm actually going to select all of these right click pre-compose so now the loop is all just in one layer. We have it all right here. Now with this layer, what we want to do is let's go ahead and click toggle switches and modes. And we're going to make that into a 3D layer by just checking this box. Change your custom view to front active camera for now. Open up your transform options for this layer. Go to transform. You're going to see your position value here. You can actually right click on that and just click separate dimensions. And then you'll see now you have your X, Y, and Z, which we can change, which we can change individually instead of in one meter. So we just want to change our Z position. You're going to hold down Alt, click on the stopwatch next to Z position. The numbers will turn red. We just want to write index in this expression here. And that's all we need to do. So now we can select this layer. We're going to apply a levels color correction onto here and just make it a little bit darker. I'll just put the input blacks up, maybe just move this in. And you'll see why we're doing this later. Now select this layer, click Control D just to duplicate it a few times. So I Control D four times. And the reason why we're doing this, if we take our active camera, so maybe change that to custom view one. You can even right click down here, go to new, go to camera, okay. And you can use the C key on your keyboard to actually just toggle through and see what this is looking like. We're gonna select all these duplications and just keep clicking Control D. So duplicate it and you'll see it's kind of extruding backwards. So control D, control D, control D. It's growing back every single time we do that. And it's looking actually pretty decent as we do that as well. So if you click C, you rotate, here's what it looks like. Now we have this 2D layer into its own little 3D comp. You can even select all these duplications here. Just hold shift, control D. Just make sure you don't crash your After Effects. You might want to save. Um, and there we go. We have our own little 3D extrusion. So that's just a little bonus tip for you guys. Um, let's click file, save. For a camera, for a camera here, you're gonna to wanna to go back to active camera. You can just turn the camera off. You can also just hold down shift, select all these layers, right click, pre-compose them into one. Just name this 3D cowboy emoji, click okay. And then you can just pop back into your main composition where we have this. To get the 3D layers to show up that we just did in here, you can just click this little um, sun star collapse transformation switch. Just click toggle switches and modes if you don't see that. Go ahead and click that and you'll now see our extrusion. So that's how you can make a 2D layer 3D if you'd like. Um, I'm gonna scale this down, so click S on your keyboard. Drop that a bit.